Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude back with another Jurassic World toy review. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Wave 2 of the non-shiny Camp Cretaceous Snap Squad figures. And these guys are very interesting. We've got um, all repaints, but what's really neat is we finally get a non-shiny Triceratops, though its color is quite vibrant and different than what we see in most figures of Ceratops scenes or her herbivores in general from the lineup. Um, a really interesting kind of deserty themed Spinosaurus. We've got Toro revisioned with a different color and pattern, and we've got some no name Green Raptor, which looks a lot like Charlie. So let's dig right in. We'll start with the red Triceratops. So I got these guys at Toy Traders um, here in BC, Canada, um, as we don't actually have that many places to get snap squads. It's usually just Toys R Us. Sometimes I find them at gas stations, but these guys were quite pricey. You can see it's $12. <laughs> so I dropped like 40 or $50 on these guys. But um, regardless, I would have just asked someone from the States to grab them and it would have been that much shipping anyways. Um, so it was nice to finally find them for a change up here. So you can see the Triceratops has a wide yap and there's teeth in there, lots of teeth. And when you stick your finger in, this one kind of pinches a little bit more because it's kind of a narrow mouth with those sharper teeth in the back. But it's got these chonky back legs, thinner front legs, a little wagging tail as well. Um, the horns are not painted on the back of the frill, but all the horns and the beak on the front are painted as well as the inside of the mouth. So that's quite good. If we compare it to the Triceratops from the shiny lineup, you can see this one has painted horns and a painted underbelly. So there's a lot more um, paint app with that, but with the red one, you get these um, frill details where they're just circle paints on the frill. So yeah, pretty cool. Same eye color and everything. So now let's open up the Spino. I kind of feel like this one was slightly just like loosely based off of the um, Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus in the back just because it has the same color eye. It's kind of this lighter theme, kind of deserty, savanna type feel to it. Now, probably should not point the scissors towards my hand. Um, and obviously the colors are not the same on the body, but you can see there's a little bit of a pattern on the head, similar to the pattern on the head back there. It would have been really cool if they actually styled it directly off of that Spinosaurus. But regardless, it is a cute addition to the lineup. Love the colors. Um, thank goodness they have another Spino in the Snap Squads. Because uh, you can see this guy is based off of the um, original Spinosaurus from uh, Legacy Collection. It's got the green eye and a really nice paint job on the head and underbelly. And this one also has a different color underbelly, which is nice. And it has some details on the head that are different from the original. So that sets it the part two, but it also has that little um, lighter or darker color on the sail. This one's kind of an orangey brown, and this one has the red. And they don't really stand too well, so I'm just gonna lie them down. So let's move on to Toro. So this one says, yep, it says Toro on it. Um, this one was a surprise to me as they did a, quite a, a different color scheme from the Toro figure and the previous Toro Snap Squad. So this one's a shiny one. And you can see it shares a lot more in common with the original Carnotaurus, um, just with that red and then that dark kind of browny red top. Of course this one's shiny in a darker shade of each, but you can see it's Toro because of that nose scar. Um, now comparing it to the new Toro, you can see Toro sports a orange color instead of a red, and a kind of browny top. And the color does not continue up the neck, it just ends on the back and starts on the head where this one continues up. Um, very interesting that they went with that. The eyes are kind of similar. This one's got more of a greeny tint to it, but that might be due to the shiny nature. And this one has kind of this, this 
yellow, um, dark, darkish yellow. You kind of see it's not too light like most of them. Art's the same. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, vastly different from the toy in the back and previous releases. But I think that's pretty interesting. So let's put Toro there. And let's move on to Velociraptor. You can see there's no name alongside it, but we can all tell that the paint job is roughly based off of Charlie. You can see there's lines on the back that are darker, and the jaw is lighter on the bottom, same colorish eye. Um, if we compare it to the previous Charlie figure, you can see it has this um, kind of bluey green turquoiseous color, and then this newer one's more of that nice green in the back. And this was actually the style of the original Charlie figure that came out in the Tack Pack lineup. So maybe they released this as kind of like a color update. So let's get it out of the package. And this guy, being a Raptor Snap Squad, you can see all the little teeth in there. This one hurts when you stick it on your finger a little bit. The teeth kind of dig into around your nail. Um, ouch. But yeah, pretty cute. And it holds on to fabric well because of those interlocking teeth. So there we have it. The newest lineup of Snap Squads. And I think the last one, last one until we get those like expression Snap Squads. I don't know what they're called. They're like Moody's or something. But yeah, those ones, uh, <laughs> gonna have to collect them too. Um, I'm technically complete my Snap Squad collection. At the moment, I have two on their way and two a friend of mine picked up and that'll be it. So I'll make a video on the four that are coming soon and then I'll do a whole collection review so y'all can see the differences and similarities of each and every mold. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to make. Um, definitely cool to see the contrast between some of these figures like the Carnotaurs, the Spinos, and the Raptors. But yeah, no, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'd appreciate it if you all leave a like and a comment. So yeah, no, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.